They were sprayed with gunshots initially mistaken for fireworks. Running in terror, many pushing prams and carrying children. Panic at a parade as they fled with fear at what was meant to be a celebration of the country's foundation. Instead, a shooter ripped into a ritual of American life. I didn't record that. Everyone's pretty shaken. Ron was watching with his family as the gunman fired from a rooftop yesterday morning. I think uh, you know, you're used to hearing about this stuff elsewhere, but it definitely hits a lot harder when you know it's not only your hometown, but it's also like right in front of you. And uh, definitely some moments today that uh, our family will never forget. Six people were killed in this shooting, two of the victims named. One of them was nursery school teacher Jackie Sundheim. Another grandfather, Nicholas Toledo, who had been visiting from Mexico. Children are among the dead too. The age range ranged from about eight years old was our youngest patient, uh, up to 85 years old. Police have arrested a suspect named as 22-year-old Robert Cremo. This video shows the moment he was detained by officers after a manhunt involving a brief car chase. Checking the top stories, police are questioning a person of interest after the deadly mass shooting at a 4th of July parade. It's the latest in a long line of mass shootings in the US and comes a month after a gunman murdered 19 children at a school in Texas. Joe Biden responded to that by signing into law the first major piece of gun safety legislation in nearly 30 years. Critics say it doesn't go far enough, the president recognising that in a White House address yesterday. And things will get better still, but not without more hard work together. The US reeling from this shooting in Illinois was dealing with another just hours later. This time at this Philadelphia parade where two police officers were shot, people fleeing from the scene in fear. Amongst the fireworks piercing the sky, gunshots yet again shattering American lives. Alan Jenkins, 5 News, 